Hello, welcome to Season 3 NRSL Outback Series, Chase Race number 7 here at Kansas. We're here at the revamped Kansas here, so we are no longer using the original Kansas, and we're using the revamped, and, uh, well, it should be a quite interesting one, and, uh, expect a lot through, uh, possibly four line, maybe even five line, you never know what to expect here. So, let's give your top ten rundown. On the poll is Dylan Posey, second is John McNamara, third is John Sedino, fourth is Eugene Max. fifth is Joseph Vanesto, sixth is Anthony Ritchie, seventh is Ian Dutta, eighth Jessica Shaw, ninth. Is Jack Richards the complete top ten? Is Biggie Spencer and Anthony Ritchie? He really needs a good run because I think, um, yeah, if he does not get a good finish and uh, the points there, Justin Talpass gets a good run as well as Nick Smith, he'll be knocked out of points contention. So want to make that clear. And here's the rest of your starting line up here at Kansas. And on the final row, we have Lily Erickson and Joshua Michaels. A few people are making a breakup mode. The pole sitter, Dylan Pozzi, he is one of them. Um, LaPlante, he needs a good comeback run because time is running out for LaPlante. There's Nick Smith there, second in points. There's Talapass, he's on the high line. This is going to help. Anthony McCurry, he needs a, he needs a make it or break it driver. He really needs a good run as well as the driver in front of him, Daniel Day. There's our previous race winner, Chris Washer in the four, starting on the outside. Just looking through the lineup here and stuff. Um, we mentioned uh, the 01. He's a make it or break it driver as well, so we'll keep an eye on him. And Citadino, he's doing not as bad, so quite interesting. Because you could tell the, the difference between the original Kansas and this here, not only how it's repaved and stuff, but this green wall that is here, that is quite iconic there, and it's quite interesting as they just gave the command to start them up. And we'll see who gets going and who does not. So, let's see what's going to happen. And front's getting going, and the back's getting going. Alrighty. 27 laps we're going to have here at Kansas. And uh, we've had some test races just to see how the racing is we've tweaked it a bunch and uh hopefully with this uh tweaked out version it will have some very very exciting racing so we will we'll see what will happen pace car is going to dive down the pit road and okay i thought they uh okay here we go green flag is out as we're underway here at kansas now, they will like to use the apron a lot, and I have no idea why. If anyone can figure out why they do that a lot in this revamped version, that would be quite spectacular. But the top two in the inside line have pulled away from third place Joseph Vanessa. Actually, uh, Joseph Vanessa is trying to battle the third spot with John McNamara. And these are chasers that really need some good runs. And Ian Dada, whoa, look at them go. Holy moly. And, oh, Jack Richards. Oh, there goes Preston. Oh, Seth Cole upside down. And here we go. Oh, my goodness. Nick Smith, second in the points. Galligan, third. Telepass, the points leader involved. Telepass got slight damage. Nick Smith's got slight damage. Where's third? There's Galligan. Oh, they wrecked him again. And Lawler involved. Pichu involved. There's third in points. Galgan, he's got back end damage and left side damage. And Caution's out after all the incidents. Cinedino's the leader. Oh, Trent Dunham, heavy damage. Seth Cole, Noah Hart. Cars in the behind them on pit road. Oh, Dylan Young and Michael Norman. The cars are coming down. Baskinger, Cavagnaro, another few chasers. Galligan, he's going to make a pit stop. Baskinger, Cavagnaro, they're making a pit stop. Ryan Richards, Chris Washer. There's Noah Kowski, he's got heavy damage. There's Gene Sanford, Cole Daly, Cassandra Renzi. Think Day made it through, as well as Anthony McCurry. I don't see the 18 anywhere. Where did, there he is. Okay. And he has got... Oh, he does have a little buck on the front end. This is big. And those drivers are getting out of pit road. Good thing. 
Cautions out for the first time today is we're on lap 327. It's like what happened on their first lap wreck. You could see right behind them four wide they were trying to set up, and it was just crazy. But this incident involves Jack Richards and Noah Hart. Richards slid up onto the track, Hart clipped, and then Seth Cole see their clips Trevor Germain. And just Mongol, there's Noah Kowski, there's Dunham. Oh, Seth! Gee, Let's quickly look at the 62, see how he flipped. What? This is odd. Okay, he clipped Jermaine, I know that, but... Looks like Pichu London flipped him over. And indeed the case, that is an odd way. Oh man, Dally. There's Chris Washer, the previous race winner. There's Lawler, hard into the wall. There's uh, PG spin around. Daniel Day was involved. There's Galligan. There's Baskinger. There's Cavagnaro getting involved. The Chaser's right there. Oh, and Jake Baskinger flipped. Fourth in points, I think that was. It's hit to uh, Joshua Michaels. And his car slid right in front of the points leader. Car upside down. That's um. That's uh. Oh, that's Seth Cole. He is still upside down, and safe to say he will be out of the race. Nick Smith doesn't have a lot of damage. Char Rodriguez made it through, but a lot of chasers involved in that wreck, including the top three in the points. They wrecked up here. Oh, that's Trent Dunham and Noah Hart. Let's see how this happened. Oh, they were trying to take the caution, and Sheldon's going to turn Noah Hart right there, as you can see. Hart slides up right in front of Biggie Spencer, nearly clipping the 0-1. Hart backs it into the wall. Trent Dunham's coming on by. Oh, Becker barely avoided. Oh, Dunham head on. Oh, that was a hard hit there. And then that was it. The caution's out. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Let's take you back to the green. Cars giving us the one lap to go. Drivers out of the race are as follows. Including Michael Norman, Dylan Young, Seth Cole, Trent Dunham, Noah Hart, excuse me, Noah Hart, then Trent Dunham, Ted Nowakowski, and Jacob Lawler. All the chasers, though, are still in this field for now. John Cittadino is your leader, followed by Dylan Poteen. He's got a good friend of Cittadino there, Joseph Vanesto in third, Ian Dutta fourth, John Mc McNamara fifth, Jack Richard sixth, Eugene Max seventh. 777, irony right there. Anthony Ritchie, 8th, 9th, Jessica Sean Rowland, top 10. Is Biggie Spencer, green flags back out. See the other chasers there. McCurry, 13th. Dave, 15th. Nick Smith, 20th. Justin Thomas at the time, cross the stripe in 29th, the points leader. So, let's quickly... Um, oh, Pete Julanen! Got clipped by Renzi, they save it. Where's the 18? And that damage is actually holding them back quite a bit. Not as bad as Baskinger, who flipped over. I'm surprised how he's, how he's still driving as well as Galligan and Cavagnaro. Now we made it through a green flag lap. Oh, boy. Look at Anthony Rich. He knows it's do or die time in the chase. He wants a good finish. But he has got to get a win. I think he needs at least a win or two to keep himself secured into the championship hunt. It is do or die mode for that 01. Poti, oh, look at this. Three wide of chasers right there, all bunched between each other. McCurry, even lower, trying to go for the lead. And that apron usually helps them out to get the position. Still green. Poti, here comes to Max for the lead. He has not had the best of seasons despite his win, only win of the season at Daytona under the lights. Max going for the lead. He has got it. Oh, Pote to Santino! And the Becker! And the caution's out! Telepass makes it through, and Cittadino not going to get help there. And this also doesn't help Anthony Ritchie at all. Keeping an eye on through the field. 
And it looks like everybody's going to be okay. Cittadino, that is not what he needed. The pole sitter and the pretty much a strong car is going to get wrecked. And Eugene Max is going to be your leader. Washington's out. Let's look at that incident. You see right there, they Cittadino tried to peek four wide right there. And uh, he, they just got really close to each other. And Cittadino is going to pay the price. There gets into White and Onesto. And Cittadino's car just snapped. Poteen and White were able to hang on. Oh, and he just gets stabbing back into 71. I don't think, uh, well, then again, I think his damage is really going to hold him back. Oh, Wenzy! Wow, tell me how the 22 car avoided that. Wow! Man, if she was in the chase, that would have been a close call. Dally did a great job avoiding it, and, uh, oh, man, Chris Washer barely avoided it there, as well as Preston Plord. Mongol does a great job, and, uh, yeah, there's the other chasers there. We need to go back and, uh, man, let's just look at the 22 again of Renzi. That was a very close call for that 22. We're showing you full motion on and on board on the cockpit. And, ooh, man, that was a close call right there. But that was a look what happened to Max as your leader. Take you back to the green. Tits. We're going to go back to green as the uh, one left, 12 27. No more tired cars of the race. That's a good thing. Quickly documented the fastest car. It's Anthony McCurry with a 20.354. And uh, let's give you your top 10 rundown. It is Demax, McCurry, Poti, White, Spiggy Spencer, your top 5. Honesto, McNamara, Richie, Dutta, and Richards, your top 10. Top 20 is Shelton, Erickson, Renzi, Qualls, Day, your top 15. Michaels, Rodriguez, LaPlante, Smith, and Lamas, your top 20. For the rest of the chasers there. Justin Taupe has the points leader, 24th. Alan Cavagnaro, 31st. Sean Gallagher, 32nd. 33rd, Jake Bassinger, 35th. John Sedino. Pace car dives down to pit road. Here we go. Green flag is back out for Eugene Demax. As we're on lap 13 to 27, giving us a total of 14 laps to go. Or, excuse me, 15 to go. My apologies there. 15 to go. 14 to go at the stripe. McCurry's had a strong car all day. He's in second. He would love to get the lead. He's in a do-or-die mode. He's going to go for the lead. Poteet's in the same way, but bigger one has to be the old one. But he's getting kicked up to the high line. Where's the 18 at? Once we just wait for clearance. Okay. Where's the 18? He's single file a little bit behind because of his damage. They want to see that 18 car suffer. They want him to lose as many points as possible. Same going to the five. Meanwhile, McCurry led the lap to Max. Wants the lead right back. And he's bringing along John McNamara. John McNamara. My apologies on saying the name wrong. He's going to go for second. And Lily Erickson. That car has been in the back a little bit. She's now worked her way up to the front. Bring along another female, Jessica Shelton, in the nine. And they had a little bit of a rivalry at, uh, at uh, eight bull and they set that aside and they kept racing like smart people and now they're racing each other here hopefully they won't ignite the fire again now McNamara to the inside for the lead he's bringing along Jack Richards chasers are one two three and now four and now Richie no surprise he wants to get up to the front he needs that 18 to finish to the back no chasers though are out of the race keep that in mind Cavagnaro and Galligan are behind him. That doesn't help. Also behind him. Jake Baskinger and John Cittadino. His damage is really holding him up. Shell now the inside lead to Max making contact. He had some contact from someone else. I don't know who it was. It may have been the six. LaPlante is pushing Richie. Look at Dud even lower. But he's going to back out of the throttle. Good decision by the 32. But it's slowed down the inside line there. It's going to bring the max low. Here comes LaPlante to the inside of the lead. Oh, Shelton turned LaPlante because of Jack Richards. Oh, and Chasers are getting wrecked. Oh, my God. It's time. Oh, Smith involved. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The 18 made through, and he's going to get held up by the 30. But goodness me, the 18 is a golden horseshoe up its ass. Oh, my God. And uh, Onesto involved. McNamara. Renzi. Pichu, and the other chasers. Cavagnaro and Jake Baskinger. 
This is not going to help Richie. I think Richie's chance of winning the championship are over. Smith involved, second in points. Lily Erickson, another chaser. She is smoking. And Citadino, this is going to help him get some spots. Erickson missed the pit stall. And Dylan Pote, there he is. I think his chances of, making the, of winning the championship are over for his final season in the Outback. And Ian Dutta, the other Turner Scott Motorsports car, involved. His day is over. There's Sheldon. I bet you she is not going to be happy right there with Austin the Plant. And there is Justin Talapas in the 10th position. Man, that golden horseshoe, that golden horseshoe has got to be stuck up its ass because he is making through his wrecks. Caution's out for the third time today. Let's look at what happened. Apologies. When I said uh, LaPlante, she was not going to be able to play it. It's Jack Richards. I made a mistake on that. But you're going to see it right there. Jack Richards just gets too close to Sheldon's corner panel right there, and that's just unfortunate there. And LaPlante is also going to be the other one not happy. Oh, Richie had the slightest bit of contact in the corner panel but kept it going. Very close call. There's where Sheldon gets into LaPlante again. Slides down into Dutta, into Michael White. Lily Erickson you're going to see there. But keep an eye on that 18 car. He is behind in that pack. And just makes it through. I can't believe it. Oh, Renzi's going to plow hard into the 9. There's Pozzi getting involved. Charlie Rodriguez did a great job avoiding that wreck. And oh, Nick Smith gets into the 20. And we got word the 5. Retired out of the race. Surprise, surprise. Man, that 18, though. He's just getting lucky and lucky. And I, I'm speechless. There's Dud again involved right there. Oh! Chris Washer and Michael White and Alan Cavagnaro hard Pichu slides. Oh! What, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what happened to Pichu? He must have hit someone. Or actually... Oh, no, Nesto doesn't have his damage yet. And, oh, he just plowed into Renzi. Oh, and the 14 hit the 9. That's what happened. Clipped again. We need to look at the 20, though. Oh, my God. Okay, White was already wrecked, and he's spinning out. And the uh, first car is going to come on by. Oh, that's Chris Washer getting hit. Oh, Wow. There's Pichu nailing Lily Erickson. Her day. Well, she. I don't know how she's smoking after that. That's very surprising. Super logical there. Oh, wait. Well, how does Baskinger get involved? Oh, he is still full speed, steam ahead there. And he has hit someone. I don't know who it was. Oh, he nailed in Dutta. Ryan Richards nailed him as well. And Baskinger. Oh, gets into Cavagnaro. Wow, Cavagnaro, Bassinger, Erickson, Dutta, Smith. That's five. LaPlante, six. McCurry, somewhat, seven. Galligan, somewhat got involved. That's eight chasers. Unbelievable. Richie is your leader. Let's take you back to the green. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, as we're going green on lap 22 to 27. You guys told six laps to go. And we got quite a number of drivers out of the race, and they are as follows. Jake Baskinger, Alan Cavagnaro, they're the first chasers out of the race. And then Chris Washer, Ian Dutta, Dylan Pote, Preston Floyd, Michael White, Pichu London, Lily Erickson, Nick Smith, second in the points, who is barely behind Telepass, is out of the race. Ryan Richards, Cassandra Renzi, Joshua Michaels. John McNamara, Jess, Joseph Vanesto, and Jessica Sheldon. All out of the race. 19 cars remain. Top 10 rundown. Richie, Jack Richards, Demax. Green flags back out, by the way. Kyle Thomas, Cody Lamas, Devin Becker, James Qualls, Charlie Rodriguez, Chaser Daniel Day, and Chaser the points leader, Justin Talbass in 10th. So take a look at the rest of the Chasers. You got Anthony Richie. He's left in this race. Charlie Rodriguez, Daniel Day, Justin Talpas, that's five. Charlie Galligan, six. Anthony McCurry, seven. LaPlante, eight. And Cedino, nine. Nine chasers left in the race. 
Richards is leading. Here comes Kyle Thomas. A lot of people not happy with Jack Richards on there, wrecking the leaders there. And whoa, boy, Daniel Day. That was a little close call right there. Five laps to go right now. And there's that 18. He is in 10th place within a very good spot there. Rodriguez, McCurry, and LaPlante, though, trying to work together and trying to hunt down that 18. McCurry's hunting them down. That's a big sight to see there. And Day is caught up. James Qual is going with the lead. Four laps to go on Kyle Thomas. Cody Long is trying to go to the inside. Trying to become a two-time winner. Going all over the corner panel. Stays off. But smart call by the Shore Lodge Chevrolet Camaro. I think we're still green. I hope we are. <laughs> and we are still green. Okay. I thought I saw the yellow lights. Oh, Lamas. And Biggie Spencer. He's known better. You can't do that. Go in the corner panel. He's had a lot of trouble ever since he's been in. Anthony Ritchie gave him some contact there. Not wise strategy there. McCurry got around Talent Pass. LaPlante's got around Talent Pass. They need Rodriguez to get around him. That's what Ritchie needs to see. Galligan's probably not going to get around him. He's His damage is really affecting him. Rodriguez has got to work on the 18 and fast. And McCurry, oh, he got wicked tight off that corner. And this is not going to help. Oh, Rodriguez nearly made contact on the points leader. Two laps to go. Biggie Spencer to lead. And now here comes Cody. I'll tell you what, in the big catbird seat, you may have to look at Richie. And why him is that Thomas, I know he can get the lead, but Richie could have a very good shot because he could be second the inside line at the point. Oh, Qualls nearly got turned by the Max. They keep it. Oh my goodness, Thomas and Richie. White flag. Look at Biggie Spencer going for the lead. Richie's chances now are over for him trying to win this race and possibly for the championship. But no worries. Biggie Spencer, the replacement driver who replaced Brandon Freight. This car has won before. And coming off turn three, Citadino, they're approaching. Oh, but they're going to get around him. And Tom is going to held up. That's all what she wrote off turn four. Biggie Spencer is going to win his first career Outback Series race. Shades of Eugene and Max and other drivers of McCurry. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Mc oh wow. McCurry barely beat out Talent Pass. But LaPlante didn't beat him. Wow. What a race. And congratulations to Biggie Spencer on the win. Let's give your top ten rundown as usual. Biggie Spencer, your winner. Cody Lamas, second. Kyle Thomas, third. Great day for Penske there. Or, um... Not Penske. Damn it. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, fourth, James Qualls. Fifth is Eugene DeMax. Sixth is Anthony Ritchie. Seventh is Daniel Day. Great runs for both of them there. And uh, the highest chaser was Anthony Ritchie. He will get 14 points. 13 for Daniel Day. 12 for Charlie Rodriguez with an eighth place spot. Ninth is Devin Becker. Tenth is Jack Richards. Uh, 11 points is going to go to Anthony McCurry in position number 11. 10 for Charlie Ro or Damn it. Justin Telepass, he'll get 10 points, and this is really going to help him. And I think, Richie, it's safe to say his championship hopes are over, especially with that finish Telepass had. Nine points is what LaPlante's going to get. That's big, valuable points there. Eight for Galgan, and seven for John Cittadino for surviving. And uh, looking through, and uh, the rest of them out of the race, there's quite a number, and you can see there. In there, but one last time, congratulations to Biggie Spencer on the victory, his first career victory as a replacement driver, and this is the second time a replacement driver has won in the Outback Series, I believe, and indeed the case it is, that's right, Just Vanessa won earlier, and now Biggie Spencer, congratulations to Biggie Spencer, one last time of the victory, if you like this break, should be served, you give it a like, comment, underneath to keep your eyes, subscribe, be part of the NRSL, okay, you get the gist, we'll see you guys for the cup race here, and after that we'll be going over to Pig's Creek for chase race number 8. And then, uh, I'm not sure we're going to... Oh, we're going to go to Homestead for Chase Race number 9. And then, Chase Race number 10, the season finale is Zen Jolt. So, till then, you know my name. Subscribe and all that. Okay. See you guys later. Here come the results. Here come the chase points. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.